today we are hiking Yates Mountain. This is my second hike of 2024. We're gonna get right into it today. It is a beautiful day for this. We're just off the shores of Barrier Lake, which is completely frozen, but it's such a beautiful bluebird day. There's a few clouds in the sky, but it should be a great day for this. I'll see you in the next clip. viewpoint for Yates Mountain. We have a little bit of a ways to go. We're pretty close to the top though. The views opened up really nicely. They are amazing. You can see Barrier Lake just below us. There is a little bit of fog in the air though. I'm hoping that we still get an amazing view once we get to the top, but this hike has been really, really beautiful so far. I definitely love this one for winter. So I will see you guys soon in the next clip. <laughs> My time is just gonna last What if I try to push through my past But I don't even know If I ever fall Will they even notice Never care for all goodbye Hey 
Hey guys, so we did make it to Prairie View Lookout. I have snow all over my face, by the way, just ignore that. I was trying to take some photos, some cute photos for Instagram. But we made it to Prairie View Lookout before we headed back. There is no trail to the fire lookout right now and it's starting to get foggy. So we started to head back down already. I totally forgot to vlog up there, but it was a really beautiful view. You get Mount Baldy all the way in the background over there. It was just peeking through, sort of, but as you guys can see, it's starting to cloud over. It actually looks like it's gonna snow, maybe. So we are headed back down to the lake. I will see you guys in the after hike summary. Bye. I just wanna be after hike summary for Yates Mountain. So this is probably my most hiked mountain. I am no stranger to Yates Mountain. I've been hiking this one since back in 2016 or 2015. It was one of my first hikes ever and I just fell in love with the view. I just fell in love with how Barrier Lake looks from Prairie View Lookout. And if you do the Jewel Pass Trail, there's a cute little waterfall there. So. I've done this trail many times, but never in the winter. So this was my first experience hiking Yates Mountain in the winter time. I also wanna do this one again for sunrise. I think it would be a really beautiful sunrise hike. So I'll tell you guys the stats of this one. This one was 11.1K with an elevation gain of 512 meters. So definitely a very moderate hike. There is some steep sections on this one. Otherwise, it's a pretty steady elevation gain the whole way to the top. And I originally wanted to go all the way to the fire lookout yesterday. I did this hike yesterday, so this is a pretty fresh after hike summary, but I wanted to go all the way to the fire lookout. However, the trail up there or lack there of trail by the time we got to the Prairie View lookout was a little bit concerning. And we just got a fresh dump of snow over the weekend. We got a lot of snow here. There was a big storm and I didn't even think I would make it out to the mountains yesterday because it's only Monday and it literally snowed all weekend. So I was a little bit concerned about the roads getting to the trail. Very happy that I was able to go out because it was such a beautiful day yesterday. It was one of those, you know, those bluebird winter days where there wasn't that much wind or anything like that. It was pretty mild out. I wanna say at most it was maybe minus seven. So it was a pretty good winter day, but yeah, getting to the trailhead, the highway was plowed and everything. It just got really foggy for the last leg of my drive on the Trans Canada, which wasn't so nice. Like there was very little visibility and then when I got onto highway 40 It was really just slippery and I had to take my time, but that's all good That's just you know what to expect when it comes to winter driving So by the time we got to the trail the parking lot is absolutely covered in snow I didn't even know where to park because the place that I normally park at was like there it was gated off but we were the only ones there so there was no other cars to like park beside and see where the actual parking lot was but it was literally covered in snow 
So I did find it and we started along the trail. I honestly don't think that it took us that long to do this hike. I think it took us about four hours total and we did stop for photos and to do time lapses and all that stuff. So the trail was in really good condition. It was all packed down regardless of it being not so busy and regardless of us having that huge snowstorm over the weekend it was really nicely packed down which was nice there was two other people on the trail with us which was good because i actually lost my sunglasses on this trail i did find them on the way back someone put them in a tree so thank you whoever you are main difference on this trail from the summertime to the winter time is obviously it's going to take you a bit longer because you're trudging through snow the trail was decently packed down however in some sections i felt like the snow was like deeper and kind of it was falling off the trees because that's how much snow we had over the weekend it was falling off the trees and it was just kind of covering the trail in some sections so yeah anything with snow hiking in snow is going to take you a bit longer it's more of a workout because there's more resistance but we finally get to the first lookout and I did see some clouds in the sky before we went up, but the sky for the most part was like blue and beautiful. So the fog from earlier in the morning was kind of hanging around just a little bit. And the first viewpoint was actually really beautiful. You could still see the lake, you could see Mount Baldy and everything like that. The second lookout was even better. It has an even better view than the first lookout, but that's where the people that found my sunglasses were. So we didn't really want to bother them and take photos there until on our way back so we continued on to the top to prairie view lookout and by the time we got there there was barely any view there was a view right when we got there so i recorded it i recorded coming up and you know the two minutes it took me to put some chapstick on blow my nose and drink water it had completely fogged over which was so annoying but still the view was beautiful okay it was still pretty you can still see the sun coming through the clouds and stuff like that i don't even think i took a photo up there of the view i just took them of myself because there was no view and then we went back to the second lookout again still the same thing there was just a lot of fog in the sky it wasn't the best views it wasn't the best day for this but i definitely needed a mountain day and i think if we'd gone earlier in the day we would have gotten you know somewhat of a clear view of this one the best advice i can give you for any winter hike not just this one is do your research on the weather see what the weather conditions are going to be like and try to go early because generally it's clear in the morning versus you know like later on in the day when it starts to cloud over and stuff like that but all in all this is a beautiful winter hike spikes are 100 necessary do not attempt hiking this without spikes because you will not make it. There's a rocky section and it's kind of sketchy. In the summer months, it's sketchy and it's slippery. And just think about that part covered in ice and snow. So make sure you have proper gear with you at all times. Be prepared for your winter hikes. And that is all for this one. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. I'll let you